In the first reading that we just listened to, St. Paul says, do not make judgment before the appointed time. This re-echoes what our Lord says in the Gospel of St. Matthew, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not make judgment before the appointed time. And in the Gospel reading, we see a people who are making a judgment, who are judging. The scribes and the Pharisees come to our Lord and say, the disciples of John the Baptist fast. The disciples of the Pharisees and the scribes, namely our own disciples too, they fast. But look at your own disciples. They are eating and drinking. This is simply being judgmental. They are judging the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ that they are eating and drinking. Our Lord comes to the defense of his followers. He defends his uh, disciples against the scribes and the Pharisees who have chosen to judge them. Our Lord says, do not judge and you will not be judged. St. Paul repeats the same message in the first reading as we've already observed. My dear beloved brothers and sisters, sometimes, if not often, we are guilty of this problem. We often judge people, and the judgment in question is very often premature. And mind you, when you judge, you are being influenced by your prejudices. You are being influenced by your preconceptions. Often, it doesn't allow the other person to give everything he or she has. We don't give that person the opportunity to explain herself or to demonstrate actually what he or she is or possesses, and then we draw conclusions which are often wrong about the person. Our Lord says, do not judge. Let the person be. When the appointed time comes, then the rightful person to judge we do that. And St. Paul says it in the first reading that judgment belongs to God, belongs to Christ himself, not to human beings. The second and last point is this. We have to acknowledge that there are many people in the world today who are hurting. They are hurting because of judgments that have been pronounced on them by others. This could happen in the family, it could happen in the church, it could happen in your workplace, that those around you suddenly say things that are untrue about you without giving you the opportunity to explain yourself or even to defend yourself. They can create a hell around you that you are in the midst of people, but you are isolated. You feel isolated, you feel marginalized, you feel alone in a sea of people. That is a very terrible situation to live in. And often, there are many people in the world today who find themselves in this kind of unpleasant circumstance, and sadly, they die in silence. They leave this reality in silence, and no one knows what they are passing through. Why? Because somebody or some people have or has chosen to judge them and judge them wrongly. In this context, our Lord says, be patient. The patience you have to have here is because judgment belongs to God, not to people. Don't allow people's opinions, which are often wrong, to ruin your happiness or to destroy your happiness. Try and tell yourself that you are not what others define you. If you know yourself, then do not go about sorrowing because others have chosen to define you wrongly. May we take consolation from the words of the first reading today that judgment ultimately belongs to Christ when the time comes. So if people have judged you and condemned you wrongly and defined you wrongly, do not go about sorrowing or living in a depressed way, going into depression. 
Just tell yourself that what they say I am is not what I am. God knows what I am and who I am. And that would help you move on with your life.